This slide of the lymph node, again, if we go and examine the slide of the lymph node, we can see that's from outside. It's supported by a capsule. Again, this capsule is a dense, irregular connective tissue. This capsule send the trabeculae, and this trabeculae will be, will be collected in one area. We call it the hilus. If we have a cross section through the lymph node, we can see from outside we have the cortex. Inside we have the medulla. In the area of the cortex, we can see these compact spherical structures which called the lymph nodules the nodular lymphatic tissue whereas in the background of these nodules we can see that there is also lymphocytes that are spreaded in the background of this nodule we call it the diffuse lymphatic tissue if we go to the area of the medulla, we can see there is aggregation of the lymphocyte called lymph medullary cords. And between these medullary cords, we have sinuses. We call it medullary sinuses. So again, we have capsule from outside, and this capsule send trabeculae. You can see here it's obvious. So I will increase the magnification. This is the area of the capsule, and you can see here, send the trabeculae, and this trabeculae will be collected in one area, which is the area of the hilus. This area here again, you can see this is the capsule, and this trabeculae. One, another important structure is found in the lymph node is the sinuses. We have sinuses just below the capsule, we call it the subcapsular sinuses. We have capsule around the trabeculae, we call it trabecular sinuses, and these sinuses will extend toward the area of the medulla. Also, we have the medullary sinuses. Usually, the lymphatic vessels enter through the capsule, through the subcapsular sinuses, trabecular sinuses, then reach to the medullary sinuses, and then exit through the efferent lymphatic vessel. We have the efferent that enter the lymph node and what leave is the efferent lymphatic vessels. If we increase the magnification, we can see here these are all the cells of the lymphocyte that disseminated or spreaded in the background of this structure here, which we call the lymph nodules. You can see here, we have capsule, and we have this space, which is the subcapsular sinuses, and this is the trabecular sinuses. If we increase the magnification again, you can see all of these are the lymphocyte, and the structure here, this is the lymph nodules. As we can see here, there is no central arteriole or the nodular arteriole. See the extension from the capsule, the trabeculae, blood sinuses. If we go to the inside, we can see there is aggregation of the lymphocyte. We call it medullary cords, and between these medullary cords, we can see there is blood sinuses, we call it medullary sinuses. If we go to this area here, this is the area where the trabeculae that enter the interior of the lymph node, which is an extension from the capsule, they collected in one area, this area called the lymph node hilus. This is important structure because in this area, the blood, arterial blood enter and the venous drainage through the vein exit the lymph node. As I said, the efferent lymphatic vessels enter from this area and will leave through the lymph node hilus 
through the efferent lymphatic vessel. So again, this is the area of the cortex, lymph nodule, the diffuse lymphatic tissue. Inside the medulla, this aggregation lymphocyte, medullary cord, between them, we have the medullary sinuses. Outside, we have the capsule. Capsule send the trabeculae. This trabeculae we collected in one area, which we call the hybus.